Welcome. Today we're going to talk about how to create a new login.gov account to access the compliance reporting sections of the U.S. Treasury Reporting Portal for your state and local fiscal recovery funds or SLFRF program account. We will cover the following. What is login.gov? Getting ready to create your login.gov account using an existing login.gov account, creating a new login.gov account, and additional resources and videos. At the end of this video, I'll point you to some useful resources and additional SLFRF videos listed in the comments section below this YouTube video. Please note that we also have a link to self-service resources to help with other common questions that recipients may have. Don't worry if you don't have your pen and paper handy to write down the web address or URL that I mentioned. Just look in the comments section below this YouTube video where we've posted the links to this web page and others. What is login.gov? Login.gov provides a safe, secure sign-in service for the public to use to log in to participating U.S. government agencies and programs. If you don't already have a login.gov account, participating agencies such as ours will ask you to create a new login.gov account. Login.gov allows you to use the same username and password in an authentication method, such as a one-time code sent to your phone or using an authentication app, while securely accessing any login.gov agency partners. This streamlines your login process and eliminates the need to remember multiple usernames and passwords. Please note that using login.gov allows you access to only the compliance reporting sections of the Treasury portal. Login.gov cannot allow you access to applications or application information for your SLFRF account. To access your SLFRF account applications, you must log in using an IDME account. If you already have login information through IDME, creating a new login.gov account will not cause any issues. Users may log in using both IDME and login.gov, provided the accounts use the same email address. For more information about creating an IDME account, you'll find our Accessing IDME instructional video listed as one of the resources at the end of this video. Getting ready to access your login.gov account. Before signing into your login.gov account or creating a login.gov account, let's make sure that you are set up for success. Please check that your SLFRF account administrator has already added you as a contact to the SLFRF account in the portal and has used your correct email address. This pre-registration step must be done first, otherwise you'll receive an error stating no matching contact record was found. And please make sure you are using a compatible web browser. The Treasury Portal supports most web browser browsers, including Microsoft Edge and Google Chrome. However, the Treasury Portal does not work well with Internet Explorer, for example. Now you're ready to go. Using an existing login.gov account. If you already have a login.gov account, you'll be glad to know you can use your pre-existing login credentials. Navigate on your browser to the login.gov sign-in landing page at https colon backslash backslash portal dot treasury dot gov backslash compliance. Next, enter your login.gov email address into the email address field and enter the password associated with your login.gov account. Creating a new login.gov account. Registering a new account is a one-time process. 
to create a new login.gov account, navigate on your browser to the login.gov sign-in landing page at https colon backslash backslash portal dot treasury dot gov backslash compliance and select create an account. This selection will redirect you to another web page called Create Your Account, where you will input your email address, select your language preference, and accept the login.gov rules of use. After you click the Submit button, a new page will display, notifying you to check your email inbox. If necessary, click Resend or use a different email address. Within your email inbox, you will receive an email notification asking you to confirm your email address by clicking on the provided link. You can also copy and paste the provided link into your browser. After you confirm the email address, create a new password. Passwords must be at least 12 characters. There are no other restrictions. You may use more than one word with spaces to get to 12 characters. Try using a phrase or a series of words that only you would recognize. Your login.gov password should be different from other passwords that you use for other accounts, such as your bank account or email. Using the same password for many accounts can risk identity theft. After the password is confirmed, Set up your multi-factor authentication via one of the options provided. If you select the phone authentication method, input a telephone number into your SMS-enabled smartphone and select whether to receive the message via SMS or via phone call. After a phone number is added, enter your one-time security code to finish the account creation. If an authentication method other than phone is selected, please consult the authentication options page located at the URL on your screen. Again, don't worry about writing this uh, down, this long web address. Just look for it in the comments section below this YouTube video where we've posted the links to this web page. HTTPS colon backslash backslash www.login.gov backslash help backslash get started backslash authentication dash options backslash. Follow the instructions provided for your selected method. After successfully adding a phone number to your account, you will use a message informing you that you are officially signing in for the first time. Once the account is created, return to the URL, which you'll find listed in the comments section below this YouTube video at https colon backslash backslash portal dot treasury dot gov backslash compliance. You are now entering the Department of the Treasury's portal. Click continue to enter the Treasury reporting portal. After you have successfully logged in through login.gov, you will arrive at the introduction page of the Treasury portal. After you have established a new login.gov account, remember you have access to only the compliance reporting sections of the Treasury portal. To access your SLFRF account applications, you must log in using an IDME account. For information about creating an IDME account, please see our Accessing IDME instruction video listed in the comments section below this YouTube video. Additional resources and videos. We hope you found this short video informative. The comments section below provides links to the SLFRF webinar library featuring informational webinars about a number of SLFRF topics that you may find helpful to your organization. And don't forget to check out other short videos in our explainer video series, including Accessing IDME. 
If you require technical assistance with your login.gov account, please refer to the login.gov help center or contact us page, login.gov assistance web pages, login.gov help center, login.gov backslash help, login.gov contact us lo at login.gov backslash contact. For questions about the Treasury Portal, technical support, or other SLFRF program support issues, please email COVID Relief Support at Treasury.gov. For general questions about the coronavirus, coronavirus state and local fiscal recovery funds program, please send an email to SLFRF at Treasury.gov. <laughs>